We have a lot to celebrate this weekend. Coming into the 4th of July, we celebrate Independence Day and the freedoms that we have in this country. We love it. We love what God has given us, that we can celebrate together the freedoms that we have. The more important freedom is when we celebrate what he has done in our heart, that we are free from our sins and eternally forgiven. Sunday is submerged. We're gonna have an opportunity for baptism right after service in the fountain out front. We'll have everything prepared. In fact, a big celebration with the food trucks out front. We'll have opportunity for fellowship and celebrating some of our friends and some of our church family that are taking that next step of water baptism. Celebrations are about thanksgiving. Psalm 100 and verse four, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for the Lord is good. This is a truth, the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. We're coming together generationally, cross-generationally to celebrate the goodness of our God and his favor in our life. 10.30 on Sunday, also next Wednesday, the day after the fourth, we're gonna have a prayer gathering. First Wednesday is the time we come together for worship and prayer. Very important for us to ask God to show us the journey, the future, the vision that he wants to put in your heart and in our hearts together. We're gonna to come together in prayer on the 5th, next Wednesday, in the chapel at seven o'clock. Looking forward to that too. Can't wait to see you Sunday.